Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is the flip side, and this video today is going to be a little bit different. As you can see, I have the containment breach folder open. So you might be wondering what I'm doing. Well, a couple of days ago, I made an April Fool's video where I managed to put a picture of 87.1 into the game along with a loading screen for him, which apparently got some people to think that 087 actually was in the game. But first, let me show you. He's not. Uh, go into loading screens. There's a picture of him that I put in there, and go in here. His coding, instead of being in proper order, it's all the way down at the bottom. So no, he isn't actually in the game. It was all a joke. But I'm surprised how pop how well that video is doing though. But anyways, I wanted to show you how I managed to make that loading screen. So. That's what I'm going to be doing today. I guess you can call this a tutorial of how to put your own loading screens into SCP Containment Breach. And it works with mods too. So I'm just going to open up a new window. Now, what should we use as our picture? Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. How about 999? That one sounds good. Oh, he's so cute! Better idea, better idea. Here he is. Larry the Loving Llama. The best SCP in existence. So I'm just going to save it as... SCP-1545. But, I know I don't have to, but... It's just weird when I don't. Okay, that's done. Now I'm going to go and put that picture in here. So I'm just going to open up a new one. And it should be in downloads, I believe. And where is it? Mr. 1545. Oh, right, it's probably under S. There he is. Now I'm just going to move that to here. And let's go into this. I should probably make that a bit smaller. There we go. And I'm going to go down here. Now, in brackets, you're going to do whatever you want the name to be. You could put in potato. You could put in whatever you want. It's going to be whatever in these brackets at the top. SCP-1545. Now you type image path equals. And this is uh, where you put in the name. So mine was scp dash one five four five dot jpeg just wanna make sure that I got that right where does it say scp dash one five four five dot jpeg okay next you wanna do where you want the uh, picture to be so align x equals now you could put for align x it could be right left or center so i think i am going to do center next is align y equals i'm not sure what the default is though align y let's put it at the top you could do top bottom or center Okay. Hang on, let me just double check if that's right. Yep. Okay. Next is the background. Now, uh, you have the option of disabling the background or leaving it, oops, or leaving it on. For my 87 loading screen, I turned it off. And to turn it off, you want to put in this command, 
disable background equals true. Now, I actually want the background to be left on, so I'm not going to put it in at all. You could do disable background equals false, but you don't need to. You can just leave it out. For those of you that are curious, this is what it will look like. This. So if you don't want this in the background, just do disable, disable background equals true. If you would like it, just leave it blank. Next is the text. Text one equals, and you just go down the line, text one equals, text two equals, text three equals, as you can see here. Uh, now, this part, I like to use excerpts from the foundation, and it'll always be like by, uh, by parts. What I mean by, like, is if you have five texts, it would be 20%, it'll change. If you have four, it'll change 25%. If you have two, it'll change every 50%. It's it's like that. It doesn't automatically, and you can't change it. So let's do. Let's see what would be a good. Okay, first, the basics. Oops. Let's just do this. Actually, we only need this much. Text one. Okay. Text two equals. Da -da 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 -da. That should be good. Oops. Come on. There. Text 3. Sorry if I'm uh, not typing too fast. I'm only using one hand right now. I'm using my other hand for the mouse. Okay. This and let's do do a fourth one. Now, uh, I believe all the other texts are direct excerpts from like all of these that Regalis put in are direct ex excerpts from the Foundation's article on it. But just for the hell of it, SCP Match One Five Four Five is freaking adorable and I want one. I will love it. Also, my sister loves llamas. She used to have an imaginary friend named Bob the Llama Corn, which is part llama, part unicorn, for those of you who don't know. And no, I'm not making that up. SCP-144 is freaking adorable, and I want one, I will love it. Also, my sister loves llama. She used to have an imaginary friend named Bob the Llama. And no, I am not making that up. Anyways, I think that'll just about do it, so, save. It might give you a warning message when you try to close out of it. You can just ignore the warning message. It doesn't mean anything, really. Let me just double check to make sure it's good. There he is, good old 1545. On the screens, and at the bottom, there he is. Okay. Also, for, for whatever reason, uh, 990's picture is just called cwm.jpg. I have no idea what that... I know that that's a type of file, but, for, like, oh, you know why? Because the glitching out text at the very top whenever he's on, that's probably what it is. It's a cwm file. 
That makes sense, but you could at least name the picture 990. I don't know. None of my business. Anyways, so let's see if we can get it working. Nope, that's 860. That's weird, it's not changing. It should be changing. That's weird. Whatever. By the way, I already finished the relaxing file a while ago that I'll be uploading that maybe tomorrow or the day after, so. 970 is not the SCP we're looking for. Not respond. Okay, there. As you can see, gate B. Is there a way I can get myself killed? That's nearby. Is 173 close? Shut up, you big baby. Okay, good. He's close. How close are we talking? Oh, very close. Oh, didn't know he was that close. Good thing this isn't the key to run. <laughs> Anyways, do we get... Nope, 970 again. 970, this is not about you, okay? Hey, it's efficient. Blink, 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 blink. Blink. 714. I don't know if I ever mentioned this. I actually have an SCP Foundation shirt. Like, I have three of them. Well, two to be specific. I have just like a plain black shirt with the logo on it. I have a red shirt with the logo on it, and it actually says Keter, which is really cool. And my third shirt actually is a Chaos Insurgency shirt. Oh, speaking of the devil. <laughs> yeah, their logo. I mean, one of their many supposed logos, at least. How should you even get up here? I thought you couldn't go past the stairs. Whatever. Damn it, insurgency. You were convenient the first time, okay? Not anymore. Oh, by the way. Ah, uh, it's this glitch where his face is like part the Halloween face and part his normal face. Speaking of Halloween. <laughs> You know what's funny? I actually recorded like a 10 minute video of my initial reactions to the announcement and I just went freaking nuts. I decided not to upload it because people would probably think I'm crazy. It's like bashing my head on tables. I mean, not, not really. It was like... Oh. <laughs> All just a joke. I didn't actually do it. It didn't even hurt. But I just thought it was so funny how I was just like flipping out. It's like the series should have ended at three, and you know I do think that's where it should have ended. But I'm weak. I'm gonna be playing the fourth one either way, and you all know it. You don't have to be so loud about it, okay? There's a way to quietly kill people. Five hundred. Speaking of which, 500J, the best, S the worst SCP in existence. I mean, well written to an extent as a joke SCP, but it's really freaking funny. Also, Five Nights at Wario's Three is a thing. I remember the guy who made that. Hey, CWM, because apparently that's your name. <laughs> yeah, it's a nightmare, alright. 
<clears throat> Five, like the creator of the game, WW. Really? Don't be afraid. WWW Wario? I actually saw his. <clears throat> I watched his videos for like a long time. And like, I remember he used to make all these videos like Wario in Mario 64. I mean, Waluigi in Mario 64 DS. It was really funny. I used to watch him, and one uh, Final Fantasy Warriors came out. Anyways, shut up. I was when Finance Warriors came out. I was like, this reminds me of that one YouTuber, and I was actually right, uh, right in the money. And I, uh, the first one was pretty crappy, especially considering like you could just like stay in your office all night and win, which is stupid. But the third one is actually really interesting. It's really good. I, I would like to see something similar to how that one works in Final Fantasy Freddy's 4. But I doubt Scott would just do something based off a of fan game, otherwise we'd have a hard-boiled egg in our next Five Nights at Freddy's game. I'm sorry, I did. My mouse actually went off the screen, which stopped me from spinning all the way around. Two person llama costume, more blah 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 blah. I probably should have put that in the center. I don't know. Sort of contrast the background, don't you think? <laughs> hmm. Anyways, I guess that's how it's. Shut up, Lucas. It's been dry. Anyways. That's how you can make your own loading screens in Contempt Breach, and that's what I love about this game. Regalis released the entire source code with this game over time, which is a really cool thing for him to do, because it's so easily moddable. Like, look at how many Containment Breach mods there are. It's insane. I mean, and it's so easy to understand. I didn't even look up a guide or anything. I literally just sat down and figured it out, which I thought was really cool how a 13-year-old kid could do that. That's why I love Containment Breach so damn much. SCP-1545 is freaking adorable and I want one. I will love it. Also, my sister loves llamas. She used to have an imaginary friend named Bob the Llamacorn, which is a thing. I'm not making that up like I said before. Um, hang on. Um, be a doll. Piss off. So yeah, I hope that you found this tutorial useful, and I will see you on the flip side.